Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave, where I talk about comic books, video games, a little bit of social commentary, toys every now and then, and just the absolute atrocious state that big two Marvel, or big two comic books are in, and video Western video games are starting to jump into. But right now I'm talking about a somewhat non-Western game. And that is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Uh, this is my first Grand Blue Fantasy game. This is also a Better Late Than Never review. I'm about halfway through the game. I think I put 8 to 10 hours into it. I'm playing on easy because I suck at games. These types of games. Throw me into Resident Evil or Silent Hill or Dead Space. Put me on hard. I'm great. But for some reason, I cannot get the leveling up systems and the, you know, I just suck at it. It's just my existence, and I'm glad they're putting easy on these. Sorry, it's, this is how I, yeah, this is my, the game journalism point of my life where I have to play a game on easy because uh, I suck at them. Uh, but I've beaten, you know, just in my defense with buddies, I've beaten Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, um, I need to beat Dark Souls 3 and Sekiro, and I need to start Elden Ring. I'm probably going to wait on a vacation for that. But they're not here to talk about my From Software love. Oh, I also need to play Armored Core. Oh, so much. All right. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is part of that, you know, series. This is, I, that I've never played before. Uh, beautiful artwork. Uh, unfortunately, all you get is a, a download code. For some free goodies. Yeah, that's it. Eh, I miss manuals. Uh, game is fun. Game is gorgeous. And I don't know for sure. It's made by Psy Games and published by Exceed. Um, but I know the reason I bought this is because... I can't remember what YouTuber I heard. It might have been Player Essence or David Vink. But he said that... Platinum Game Studios developers were helping with this game. Probably the combat, because it's very uh, um, hack and slashy. And it's fun. It gets boring, though. Like, this is a fun game. It's a beautiful world. There is a lot to do, but I don't know if I'm just in a funk right now with games. Or it's just a boring game. I hope it's not a boring game, but it's just rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. I was in... Like a forest level, did the same thing. Then an ice level, did the same thing. And now I'm in a desert level and I stopped playing. I'm, I, I downloaded a whole bunch of PS4 games into my, into my PS5 because I just, I don't know what to play. Like I've beaten none of these games, a whole bunch of different spots in the game. I probably of all these games, I'm the farthest in Death Stranding. Um, I also have De Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, but I've beaten that. Don't know if I really want to jump into this. This is a hell of a game. Uh, it's an event game, what I like to call. Well, all these are event games, except for this one. This one you can beat in about 15 hours. That's why I'm about halfway through it. I like the characters. I care about them. Uh, very well voice acted. The enemies do vary from land chunk to land chunk, because you're in a skyship. Uh, you know, the dirigibles before uh, the elite lizard people took that form of travel away from us for some reason damn elites but uh yeah it's a fun game i would pick it up if you like action rpgs if you like rpgs uh, if you like fast-paced combat if you don't know you know if you if you're paying attention to the story and still don't know what the fuck's going on if you like those type of games definitely pick this up uh it's a lot better than immortals in my opinion um maybe it's because i like cell shading or just because I like this type of fantasy world, which is why I like JRPGs so much. But I suck at them so so atrociously. But uh, I would definitely give this a pick up. I picked it up at full price. I do not regret it. Um, I picked it up because of FOMO. I didn't want to miss out on this one because I had a feeling that there'd just be one print run because it's Exceed. And then it vanished. So I picked it up real quick. So it's a birthday present to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> so sad. But uh, yeah, it's fun. It is fun. Oh, and it's got co-op play. I forgot about that. I have no friends, so I have no one to play with, but it's got co-op play with four players, online co-op. So that would probably make it fucking even more fun. Fuck, I gotta find friends. <laughs> Be my friend. But yes, uh, have you played this? Let me know. Um, what do you think about it? I'd love to know about it, because I, I, I'm 
kind of bored out on it, and it sucks. I hate getting bored out in the middle of a game, because I track all the games I beat throughout the year, and I've only beaten one game so far this year, and it's Final Fantasy VII Intermission. That was like a five-hour event. So I haven't really beaten shit this year. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon in another video.